Hello. So let's continue the properties of indifference curve. The first one, indifference curves are always convex to the origin because diminishing MRS. MRS declines because of the law of diminishing marginal utility. In the last uh, um, diagram you see we have seen consumer consumes more and more apples is marginal utility from apple keeps on declining and is willing to give up less and less of bananas so indifference curves are convex to the origin MRS indicates the slope of indifference curve the second property is indifference curve slope downwards because a consumer consumes more of one good he must con so he must consume less of other good if consumer decides to have one more units of one good say apples then he will have to reduce the number of units that is bananas so the total satisfaction remains the same then the third one higher indifference curve represent higher levels of satisfaction so in this diagram you can see I see one you find point A here OR and OP is the combination of commodity X and commodity Y OR commodity X OP unit of commodity Y so when he has this combination at point A he gets the maximum satisfaction on IC1 curve on IC2 you find it extends to O S and O P O S and O P are the combination so here you find OS is greater than OR. OS is greater than OR. So here you find at point B you find more satisfaction. So this is how the higher indifference curves represent higher levels of satisfaction at point A, OR, and OP combination at point B on IC2 you find O S and O P so O S is greater than O R so here you get the higher level of satisfaction so as the higher uh, indifference curves represent higher levels of satisfaction because of the combination of different units of X commodity X and Y now next property is indifference curves can never intersect e each other as two indifference curves cannot represent the same which we have seen here same level of satisfaction they cannot intersect at each other it means only one indifference curve will pass through a given point on an indifference map so in this diagram satisfaction from point A and from point B on IC1 will be the same similarly points A and C on IC2 also give the same level of satisfaction so points B and C should also give the same level of satisfaction however this is not possible as B lies on B and C lies on two different indifference curves therefore two indifference curves cannot intersect each other to the indifference curve analysis assumes consumption of two goods that is two goods are always consumed if difference curve indifference curve touches y axis it would mean that consumption of commodity on x axis is zero 
Similarly, if indifference curve touches x-axis, it would mean that consumption of commodity on y-axis is zero. So, an indifference curve can never touch any of the axis.